Shalom. In this week's parasha, Parashat Ki the Torah gives a list of people who are forbidden into marrying into Am Yisrael. Some of the people are forbidden forever, even to the 10th generation, they're not allowed to come into Am Yisrael. And for some others, the Isu, the prohibition of marrying into Israel is limited in time. Three generations. When the Torah refers to the Ammonites and Moabites, the Torah says, Ten generations, even to the tenth generation, you cannot allow them in. Why? What did they do so wrong? The Torah says, Al dvar asher lo Because they, when you came out of Egypt, they didn't come out and help you. They didn't bring you bread and water. They didn't come and assist you in your way, on your path. They ignored you. Not only did they ignore you, they even tried to curse you through Bilam. Of course, it didn't work. But because they're not very nice. Lo tidrosh lomam vetovatam kol yemeicha leolam. You should not seek their peace or their goodness forever. Keep away from them. They are not nice. Stay away. Did they do you any harm? No. They didn't give you bread and water, but you found a bread and water other places. They didn't. They tried to curse you, but they didn't succeed. But stay away. Lo tidrosh lomam vetovatam ad olam. Never seek their goodness. They are evil. That's a monum wav. A pasuk later, the Torah speaks about Egyptians. And the Torah says, Do not loathe or hate the Egyptian. Why? You were a guest, a convert, a stranger in his land. Therefore do not hate him. If he wants to marry into Am Yisrael, three generations later you can. The Moabite and Ammonite you're supposed to loathe. Never seek their good. An Egyptian, do not loathe him, do not hate him. Give him time and he can come in. Why? You are a stranger in his land. This is very surprising to me. Very, very difficult to understand. The Egyptians for 400 years, enslaved us, tortured us, forced us to work for them. And we were a stranger in their land because they didn't let us out. And because of that, we have to feel gratitude to them because we live in forced to be lived in their land. We have to say thank you and accept them into us. The Moabites stay away because they're evil incarnation and the Egyptians, oh, they're pretty okay. They only enslaved you for 400 years. Impossible to understand. Rashi and other commentaries say, yes, once you accepted good from one person, even it's begrudgingly, even though you didn't want to, but you had accepted one thing, Hakarat Atov demands from you forever to be gratitude, feel gratitude to them. I don't know, this doesn't sit well with me. I don't really have a very good answer, but one, maybe one point I can share. 3,000 years ago, we were enslaved by an evil people. But that formulated us and changed us as a people. Think how many mitzvot remind us, Ger ha'ita be'eret mitzrayim. You were a stranger in a foreign land, therefore keep Shabbat, therefore keep for the poor, therefore feel mercy. That time in Egypt molded us, changed us. And perhaps for that we need to feel gratitude, not for the enslaving, but rather for the fact that we became a people. So maybe... We need to allow them to come into us because maybe now they see what happened after their enslavement, how we became a people that are worth to join into. And those people who knew us then and know us now, maybe we should open the door to. Shabbat Shalom.